Hey everyone, so in Pygame we often need to draw different shapes when we make animations or games. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw different shapes in Pygame, including a line, a rectangle, a square, a circle, ellipse, arc, and other polygons. So since this is going to be in Pygame, we first want to import our modules at the top. We can import our Pygame module, and we want to import our math module. Now we want to initiate Pygame, so initiate Pygame with Pygame dot in it, and then we can quit Pygame. So Pygame quit with Pygame, oops, with Pygame dot quit, and then quit. So now that we have this set up, let's go back in between and create a clock. And so clock is going to be equal to Pygame dot time dot clock and now we want to create a few RGB colors so let's set up black it's going to be zero 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 uh, blue is zero zero two fifty five cyan zero two fifty five two fifty five green is zero oops 0, 255, 0. Purple is 255, 0, 255. Red is 255, 0, 0. And lastly, white is 255, 255, 255. Great. So now that we have our color set up, we can set up our window. So set up window and set the window width equal to 500, the window height equal to 400, and the window is equal to pygame.display.setMode, and with the di dimensions of the window. So window width, window height. Yep. Great. And now we want to display so pygame dot we want to set a caption so pygame dot display display dot set caption and we can set the caption to drawing shapes all right now that we have this let's create our main while loop and this main while loop is going to uh, keep our window open so set up our while loop state is true and while the state is true we want to for event in pygame.event.get if event dot type is equal to pygame pygame dot quit then state is false so this if statement just checks um if the user wants to exit out of pygame then uh, the program will uh, let you exit out of the window. So the window will only close when you force it to close. And now inside this while loop, but outside of the for loop, we could run pygame.display.update and clock.tick30. So the clock.tick30 means that the screen is going to update uh, 30 times per second. All right, let's move on. So we also want to add, or actually, let me run. Let me save this and run it. And here we have a window on our screen. And oops, looks like oops. here we have a window on our screen. And you notice that the background is black. So let's change that. Let's add a line of code. Window dot fill. And this is going to be white. And uh, before we uh, created white. Y is equal to 255, 255, 255. And this dot fill method basically just fills the screen with the color white. So let's save this and we'll run what we have. And here, it changed from black to white. Great. So, that's, so now let's start creating our shapes. So underneath the dot fill, let us create a start, or actually, let's create a line. And our start x is going to be equal to 0. 
our start y is going to be equal to 270. Our end x is going to be window width. Our end y is going to be 150. And our width is going to be 5. And the width is the width of the line. So pi game dot pi game dot draw dot line window. The colors can be black. Star x start y and start x start y. Those are the uh, initial coordinate points for the uh, left part of our line. And then end x and end y is going to be the second coordinate point of our line. So here we have it. Um, 0, 270 is this part, is uh, right there, and end x, or end x is the window width, so right here, and end y is 150, so that right there. And it basically drew a line from this point to that point. Great. And you can change these points to whatever you'd like. So now let's create a filled rectangle. And let's create a variable. X is going to be equal to 100. Y is going to be equal to 120. The width is going to be equal to 50. And the height is 30. So the width and the height are the dimensions of the rectangle. And now we can pygame.draw.rect window. The rectangle's color is going to be red. X, Y, and now the dimensions. So width and the height. So if we save this, and we run, here we have a red block, a red rectangle actually. This x, y is the um, coordinate point of the top left part of our rectangle. And the block is 50 pixels wide and 30 pixels high. Cool. And now that was a closed rectangle, meaning that the inside was filled. So let's create an open rectangle just in case you don't want the inside to be filled. So, x is 250, y is 240, width is 50 pixels, and the height is also, or not also, the height is 30 pixels. And let's create a line width of 3. So now we can pygame.draw.rect window red, x, y, width, heights, and line width. And this last parameter, line width, this is an optional parameter in case you want your rectangle to be um, open. And before, if you don't include this uh, third parameter, which is the line width, it's going to be a filled rectangle. But now that we've added the parameter, then the line width is going to be 3, and it's going to be an open rectangle. And here we have it. Oops. Here we have two rectangles, one up here, one down here. And this one is open, as you see, and the width is 3 pixels. Alright, now that we have three shapes, let's continue. So now that we created a filled and open rectangle, let's create a square. So filled square. So x, 300, y, is 80 and again the x and y is the uh, coordinate of the top left part of the square the top left corner um, the width is going to be 50 and since it's a square the height has to be the same as the width so the height is also 50 and now pygame dot display dot or not display pygame dot draw dot rect window we could change or set the color to green. X, Y, width, height. And now if I save this and run. And now we have a square up here. Cool. And you can also change the colors to any of these uh, shapes and the dimensions. Now that we have a filled square, let's create one more shape, which is a filled circle and yeah, circle. and here instead when we created the um square as well as the rectangle the corner point was for the top left corner of these shapes now that we're creating a circle let's say there's a circle right here 
the xy coordinate is going to be the center of the circle. And that's the difference. So the x is going to be 200, y is going to be 150, and the radius of the circle, let's set it to 20 pixels. And now pygame.draw.circle, it's not direct, instead it's .circle, window, blue, x, y, and our last parameter is the radius. So let's save it. And here we have a blue circle right there. Great, great, great. And now that we have a filled circle, let's create an open circle. So open circle. And here the steps are similar, where you have the x is 200, the y is 300, the radius is 20, and just like the um, open rectangle, we have another parameter. This is going to be the width of your line. And it's going to be three pixels. So pygame.draw.circle window blue xy or x y radius and our width. And this last parameter width just determines um, that it is an open circle. So we'll save this. And here we have our open circle and our open rectangle next to each other. Alright, great. And now let's create an ellipse. So we have our two circles and a few rectangles and a square. Let's create an ellipse. So a filled ellipse. An ellipse is basically just like an oval, basically. So, uh, let's see, x is equal to 350. Our y is going to be equal to 260. The width is 60 and the height is 40. And now pygame.draw.ellipse window purple x y the width and the height. So let's save this and run. And here we have an ellipse over here. And here uh, for the x and y coordinate of an ellipse for the circle, the xy coordinate represented the center. But for an ellipse, imagine there was an uh, imagine if there was an imaginary box around this ellipse, where each side of the ellipse touches the box. And so the top left corner of the box, like it would be around here, is represented by that corner point. So here the ellipse is 350, 260. And so this left top left corner's corner point is 350, 260. Yeah, so just imagine if there was like an invisible box that contains the ellipse. And so that was a filled ellipse. And now let's create an arc. So let's create an arc. And this is going to be, this is an elliptical, elliptical arc. Yeah. And the x is going to be 100. The y is going to be 260, the width is 60 pixels, the height is 40 pixels. And we also want to create a start angle. It's going to be 0. End angle is going to be math.pi over 2. And here we're making use of the math module that we imported at the top. And we also want to create a line width. And that's going to be equal to 5. And pygame, oops, yeah, pygame .draw arc window, green, the x, y coordinate, and the width, and the height. And a few more parameters, the start angle, start angle, the end angle, and the line width. And I want to note that this angle has to be in radians um, for the start and the end angle. So let's save this and run. And here we have a sort, yeah, a sort of an arc right there. Great. So we have an arc right here, and the arc is drawn in a counterclockwise direction with zero on the right. 
So now that we have this arc, let's lastly create a triangle. So let's create an open triangle as your last shape. So open triangle. So x1, since it's a triangle, we need three points. So the first point, x1, is going to be 200, y1, 100, x2, 120, y2, 200, x3, 280, y3, 180. And since it's an open triangle, we'll have a, the width of the triangle, which is 5, or the width of the line of the triangle. So now pi game, pi game dot draw dot polygon window the colors gonna be cyan and we want to have a list of lists and inside each list it's gonna be the corner point of each point so y1 or yeah x2 y2 x3 y3 and then since this is an open triangle, we want to have one more parameter, and that's going to be the width. So let's save this, run. And here we have a triangle. And now we basically have created most shapes, and most of these are the shapes necessary to uh, create any basic Python game with a Pygame. And so that's the end of this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video.